Hi, my name is Tabitha and I've got a quick full body strength circuit for you today. Today's workout is fully modifiable based on the equipment that you have at home. You could do all of these movements body weight only with really light weights like I am today or with heavier weights. So your rep ranges may vary from mine depending on your weight. So if your weight is a little bit higher, your reps might come down lower and vice versa. If your weights are a little bit lighter, you may end up doing even more reps than I do during this workout, but it's a great full body sweat sesh. So we will jump right in. For your warm up, you are gonna come into um, just the standing position. Make sure that your shoulders are stacked over hips and we are just going to trunk twist. So super simple, around 10 per side. So just trying to get the blood flowed through the body. You can have your palms up, you can have them by your side. Doesn't matter either way but we are just trying to breathe and elongate the chest as we go through our twist. From there, we're gonna come onto the floor. I suggest that you have a mat or a towel, or something soft under your knees, into some blast off push-ups. So version one, you can come from child's pose, forward into a knee plank, and then lower to the floor and breathe the ground away. So we're just kind of flowing into this movement, breathing out as we press the floor. Think about spreading those palms and almost pushing your weight to the inside as you lean back. If you want to make it a little more challenging, you could come up onto your toes so you're in that full plank, leaning back, and then blasting forward. So we'll do any number between 8 to 12 as we get the blood flowing through the whole body. So we'll do this last one, and then we're going to come into around the world lunges. So you can start with your right leg, step the left leg back, coming down. We're gonna step over to that left side and back around, and then we're gonna rinse and repeat on the other side. So just find a range of motion that feels good to you. Think about really shifting your hips backward, dropping your weight into that front heel and letting your glutes support you and propel you back up off the ground. So as you're stepping out into the side lunge, really, really shift your weight back and not just to the side. So we'll do a few more of these. Basically go until you feel like your body is nice and warm, muscles are engaged, and things are opened up. So we'll do two more lunges to either side. You don't have to follow a particular order with these, just whatever feels good. From there, we're going back to our trunk twist. And we'll go through our warm up just one more time. So we're waking up the chest, drawing the belly button in towards the low spine. Coming back to those blast offs. So we're inhaling back and down, exhaling forward, rolling shoulders back and away from the ears. We don't want to be all shrugged up. So just leaning forward, leaning back. You're picking your speed and your rep count today. So really upping your intensity if you're feeling that, taking it down lower if you're not. And about rocking back, stretching those triceps and your lats, breathing the floor away from you. We'll do these last two. Really press through your triceps into the heel of your hand, and then we'll come right back up. We've got those um, around the world lunges once more. So I'm gonna start here on this leg, step out to the side, shift it around, really leaning the hips back, trying to stretch that inner thigh. Doing as many as you feel are necessary to warm your body up. And last one. So from there, we'll go into our circuit. So we've got six movements for you. We're gonna go through this circuit three times through. I'm gonna hit between eight to 12 reps of each movement. 10 is a happy medium between that. Like I said, based on your weights, you can vary your rep count as you go. So movement number one, we've got our Arnold press. So we're gonna grab your weights up in front. Start with your elbows around chest height. Weights are in your face. 
and you are going to center your hips over knees, squeeze the glutes, and then press the weights to the sky. So as you press up, you are letting your head come through the window, so to speak, and getting a full squeeze of those shoulders up by your ears. Think about breathing out as you press tall, taking it one rep at a time. I'm gonna do one more, then we'll lower those weights down. Your next movement is a renegade row. So you're coming down into your plank with your weights on either side. Your hands will be stacked right under shoulders. You're gonna drop onto knees, squeeze your glutes down low, and you can hold your weights on either side, or you could reach down and do one arm at a time. But I like to use the weights as a little bit of a brace. So I'm gonna alternate sides and pull the elbow up past the rib cage. To make this more difficult, you can come out into your full plank, onto the toes. So really challenging your core strength and your rowing abilities. I'm gonna bring it back to the knee. Think about breathing out with every single rep. Really squeezing the lats down and rolling those shoulders back and away from your ears. You're gonna do two more per side, and then we'll move on to our third exercise. Perfect. From there, you can rock back into a little stretch, and then we'll go into a sumo squat. So I suggest if you have a kettlebell, you can hold that right in center. If you've got two dumbbells like me, press them together, roll the shoulders back and down, find a stance outside of your hips, and drop your hips back and down as low as you can. So we are inhaling down and exhaling up. Notice from the side, your back's gonna stay nice and straight, and you're almost twisting your elbows out. So you're keeping everything braced tight. Inhale down, exhale up. Trying to make those shins almost perpendicular with the ground. Gonna do two more. Perfect. And then we'll drop those weights. From there, we'll give the legs a little rest. Go right into your chest press. So you'll be lying on the floor for this one. You're gonna bring weights to your side. You can have your legs bent or straight. Doesn't matter either way. I prefer with the chest press, rather than flaring the elbows straight out, to find a little comfortable angle with the elbows. So you're gonna inhale down, exhale up and squeeze. If you wanna make it more challenging with a lighter weight, you could come a quarter of the way up and then all the way up and count that as one rep. So think about engaging your pecs with every single rep, breathing the weights right up. So again, you've got your shoulders rolled back and away from the ears, and we're lowering those weights with control back down to your side. Gonna do two more. And then we'll come up to a seated position. Your next exercise are good morning. So you could actually do these kneeling because it is just a hip hinge movement. So essentially you want upper body to stay straight, back is straight, you're leaning your hips backwards and coming up, squeezing the glutes through. If you're doing this from a standing position, you could put a weight either behind your head or load them on either side, depending on the weight that you wanna use. I'm gonna sit this weight right behind my neck and I'm gonna shift my hips back as far as I can while lengthening the hamstrings. So I'm gonna push through the toes and the heels to a big squeeze up at the top. So think about breathing out when you stand up. You wanna keep your spine nice and neutral so you don't want your neck to be craned upward. You're gonna gaze about two to three feet in front of you as you keep that back perfectly straight. So you will almost exaggerate the arch in the low back as you push those glutes backwards. It can help to stand about a foot away from a wall and use the wall as a target to press your hips back as far as possible to get that hip hinge movement. I'm gonna do two more, and then we'll be on to our lunges. Perfect. So once you've breathed the floor away, we're gonna come into a split squat next. So we're gonna do 10 squats 
her leg and it's more of a lunge position here. So you can hold weights or you can do these body weight. Your chest stays tall. You are gonna drop your weight back into your hip with 90 degrees in your back knee. So all the weight stays shifted forward in the front leg. You're coming down with control all the way to the bottom of that lunge and all the way back up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Perfect, then same thing on the other side. Still keeping those shoulders braced backwards and we will step it back into that comfortable position with 90 degrees in both knees. Inhaling down, exhaling up, rolling shoulders back and away from your ears. We'll do two more. Then straightening those legs. So that is round one of your circuit. So we'll start back at the top with our Arnold presses. We'll grab those weights up, shake the shoulders out a bit, bring that weight up to the face and give it a twist up to the top. So you're keeping your core braced the entire time through this movement and exhaling as you press the weight tall. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Last two right here. Perfect, all right. Lowering the weights to the floor, coming into plank for our renegade row. Once again, wrist stacked under elbows, stacked under shoulders. Dropping the hips low, squeezing the glutes. We're gonna bring it up. We're trying to keep the hips from shifting side to side. You're gonna have to press pretty hard into that opposite shoulder to stabilize your body down in this plank form. Think about breathing away as you row the weight up. Trying to bring that elbow back towards the hip behind you and past your rib cage. Last two reps right here. Perfect. All right, on to your third movement. We've got the sumo squats. So bringing weights to center, finding our sumo stance. Chest stays tall. We'll pick them right up, push them together, twist those elbows out. Inhale down, exhale up. What you wanna avoid is your hips rising up before your chest, just like that. You want them to go at the same pace so you're pushing through your inner thigh as you come up out of the hole of the squat. Got two more. And last one. So every squat, you're trying to stand up like you're trying to explode your head through the ceiling. All right, back to upper body. We've got our chest press on the ground. You'll bring those weights to either side, keeping legs bent or straight. Doesn't matter either way. Bringing the dumbbells right into that comfortable angle, starting at the top, inhaling down, exhale, press. You're keeping tension through your pecs the whole time. Really pressing shoulders up and away from the floor as you go. Last two. Perfect. All right, lowering weights to the ground. Back to our leg exercises. We've got our good mornings. This time I'm gonna hold two weights and stack them on the shoulders and just hinge at the hips. So coming as straight as possible backwards to the ground. Soft bend in those knees. You don't need to be locked out, but the lengthening is happening through those hamstrings as I shift the glutes backwards. Really squeeze in hard at the top with every single rep. Keeping a neutral spine. Last two. And squeeze at the top. Finally, we've got our split lunges. This time I'm gonna start on the opposite leg first. 
Stepping it forward, dropping the hips down low. So all the weight is shifted into the heel of that front foot. Shoulders stay rolled back and down. Chest stays tall. Standing all the way up. Last one. And up. Turning to the other side. Finding that tall stance. 90 degrees in both knees. Dropping it right down. And breathing up. Head through the ceiling every rep. Inhaling down, exhale up. And last rep, all the way up, perfect. So you're probably feeling a nice burn in those quads. Before your third set, take a moment to breathe, shake things out, you can stretch your shoulders just a bit if you'd like, and then we'll roll right back into our Arnold presses. So we're grabbing the weight up, face height, Deep breath in, squeeze the glutes, up tall, and twist it around. So squeezing shoulders towards the ears, keeping tension in your middle delts the whole time. Perfect. All right, down to our renegade row. Last one, so let's make them our best reps yet. Dropping the hips low into that flat plank and rowing up, pressing into that opposite shoulder. Breathing the floor away with every single rep. And with these two reps, equals one. So make sure you're doing 10 per side. Whatever rep count you choose. Gotta make it even. Last two. Perfect. All right. Coming into the last sumo squat of the day. Grabbing those weights. We'll keep them in the middle. Find your sumo stance. Dropping the hips down low. Big breath out at the top. Trying to let your chest and your hips rise at the same time. So not letting the hips come up first. Squeezing glutes at the top, pushing through the inner thigh. Last two. Perfect. All right, on to the floor we go. Hitting the upper body. Last upper body exercise of this workout. We'll bring our weights to the side here. Pressing low back into the floor, breathing the weights up one rep at a time. Last two reps and all the way up, perfect. Finally, we have got our good mornings, then the split lunges. So I'm going to use the single dumbbell this time, place it behind the neck and shift the hips back. You'll feel that you really balance through your toes as well as placing the weight in your heels. And you wanna just have an even distribu distribution of weight throughout your whole foot. Breathe the floor away with each rep. Making sure each one is as slow and controlled as the first. Spine stays nice and neutral. Don't angle your neck upward. Last two. Perfect. All right, finally, split lunges. We'll start on the right side this time. 90 degrees in both knees, dropping down, squeezing up. So keep in control of the back knee. Don't let it slam to the ground. All the weight stays fixed in the front leg. And 
and last one. Perfect, we'll take it to the other side, finish things off nice and evenly. Step the back foot, a little bit backer, further back, down, all the way up. So you can touch the back knee to the floor, or you can avoid doing that, whatever feels best to you. But never slamming it to the ground. Last two reps. And back up. So we'll sit our waist down and move into the cool down. To start, I'm gonna have you lace your fingers and then turn your hands inside out so that the heels of your hands are facing towards your glutes. Then you're going to expand your chest forward, drawing the rib cage towards the sky and pulling through your fingertips the string to stretch out and elongate your forearms and biceps. Next, I'm gonna have you come into goal post, big breath out, pull your elbows back towards each other. You can reach forward, round the back. Big breath out, squeeze them behind. One more time, we'll round it out. And then squeeze them back. Next, we'll come into our pigeon pose. So you're going to fold your front leg just at whatever angle feels right to you. So you could have less of a bend, more of a bend, whatever is comfortable, but you want your hips to be nice and square. Back knee facing down towards the ground. We'll sit here for a moment. Watch the shoulders, don't let them roll up. Roll them back and away from your ears, pushing hips into the floor. If your body feels comfortable doing so, you can lower down to your elbows into a forward fold. And then if you have that range of motion, extend the arms all the way. And do the same thing with the other leg. Taking time to breathe here. If you wanna pause the video and stretch a little longer in each position, feel free to do so. Rolling the shoulders back and away. Drop to the forearms. And then extend those arms forward if you feel comfortable going so low. From there, we will come back to center. I'm gonna have you touch heels together into our butterfly stretch here. You can flap the wings if you want to, moving those knees, or you could also rock side to side, but make sure that you're not sitting with a hunchback. Pull your chest open and sit tall. Thank you so much for joining me for this strength exercise today. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout and make it your own at home.